Hi everyone, Mr. Tompkins here, and today I want to talk to you about a fantastic app called Poplet. Um, brilliant if you've used it before, if not, listen on. Now Poplet is a great app that gives you a platform to put all of your ideas on, whether you want to store some photos or images, you can write, and you, it lets you mind map all of your ideas. Brilliant for use at the school, or brilliant at home if you're doing a project or making a scrapbook. Let's have a look at it. Okay, when you first start Poplet up, you will have a popple. These are called popples. And to get more popples, you have to use the little circle grey things to drag like this to create another one. And you can keep sort of dragging and have a central one and so forth. To delete one, just click the, the X in the corner and it's gone. And it says delete popple or you can cancel it. So I'm just going to delete popple, delete popple here, and I'm going to go to this one. So the first thing I want to talk about are these four options. You've got the frame, text, drawing tool, and then a picture of a mountain. So we're going to go to this one first. It's the outside frame, okay, or the border of the popple. So I'm just going to click that, and I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to choose to have it blue as a background. Okay, here I've pressed the T second option in on the popple and now it's brought up the typing at the bottom that I can write in anything I want so I can just write Mr. Pumpkins. Right, once you've done that and you've clicked the T with this option, these options come over here. And the top three are different sizes. So if you press the first one, smallest, middle one, and then biggest one, and then these are the alignments underneath. So you can have it centered or left all right and that's something that you guys can play around with right now i'm going to show you i'm just going to pull another poplar off to the right now i'm going to show you the third option which is the writing option so you can click on the little pencil drawing tool choose a color i'm going to choose pink and you can with your finger or a stylus you can start to draw into your poplar Cool, and that's a, a cool little tool that you can use to incorporate some, some writing using a stylus or your finger into your poplet. Okay guys, I want to show you how you can bring in a picture using poplet. So we can zoom in a little bit on this one by using two fingers and zooming in to the poplet we want. So. There's four options. I want to go over to the far right, so the fourth option, which is like a picture of mountains, basically. And that, now I can open up my library, import a photo, or I can take a photo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the library. I'm going to click one of my photos. I'm going to choose that bottom one, because I love a bit of Minecraft. And click done. There you have it. That's one way you can import a photo using Poplet. One thing that is absolutely fantastic about Poplet is the, the ability it lets you take a picture right now of yourself or whatever it is you're studying or learning about. So if you click the fourth option on the mountain picture, click take a photo. At the moment it's pointing some flowers, I'm not gonna take a picture of that. And click the front facing camera in the top right and you can take a picture of yourself. Brilliant, and I'm gonna use that photo. Click done, and there you have it a photo that you've taken at this moment in time that you can include into your poplet. Brilliant. Okay, let's talk about some of the other options you can do on poplet. For starters, this is the title. So, up here, if you click on there with your finger, you can edit the title and you can call it whatever you want. But I'll just call it Mr. Tomplin's pop kit. Poplet even for the time being. Also, there is this view all button. So, say when you're zooming in or you've got it like that, you want to quickly see all of it on the page, you click the view all button there and it puts it all back in. There's a clear all button next to it, that'll delete everything so be careful if you do press that. Then the blue square here is the background, so if you want to change the background, pink maybe, grey, let's stick with blue. So and then next to that you've got a settings which is good for 
do another little bit. So if you can click the top one, make new popple, that's quite handy. But if you want to quickly make a popple somewhere, if you double click over here with your finger, you create a new one like that. So that's another way of doing it. When you're ready and you want to save and you think you're finished, you can go over to this one over here where it says export, click that and then click save JPEG. When you click save JPEG, it will save it into your camera roll, like so. Image has been successfully saved into photo library. So there's some of the other options that you can use on Poplet. So that's Poplet, a free app. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I've been Mr. Tompkins. Thank you ever so much for listening and I'll see you on the next video.